show, which is not a show that I named. That was Chad. He takes credit for that. Uh, thank you. My name's Ryan McKee, and I already know what you're thinking. Too bad that guy has a wedding ring on, because it looks like he has gained the quarantine 15. And yes, I have. I gained it twice. Uh, the pandemic just made it so hard to work out. Like, Suddenly I looked up and I was like, damn, I have not gone to the gym in 16 years. I just, COVID made me so lazy. And 14 years before that as well. I don't like to think of it as getting chubby, though. I like to think of it as I am gaining weight for an acting role that I just don't have yet. And you're thinking, wow, Ryan, I didn't know you're also an actor. I am not. <laughs> Gaining the weight first, and then I'm gonna take acting classes. One thing at a time, can't multitask, not that smart. Not that smart. Uh, I got a trainer recently, so I'm gonna finally, I'm gonna work it off, got a trainer, and the first week he made me keep a food journal uh, where I had to write down everything that I ate for an entire week. And then I gave it to him, and he looked at it, and he goes, wow, right away I can tell we're going to have to cut out some of these grains. And I was like, like what? He was like, birthday cake? How much birthday cake do you eat? And I was like, listen, okay, it was on sale at the Harris Tea Bakery. How do you not buy $4 birthday cake? You be a feelingless robot? Like, that is a great deal. Uh, he didn't think that was funny. He, what he, here's what he does think is funny. So, uh, every time I'm working out and I'm really pumping some hard iron, you know, like 15 pounds at a time, he always corrects my form. And he goes, there, how does that feel? And I always say, it hurts. <laughs> and then he goes, yeah, because you're doing it right. Feels good, huh? And I say, no. And then he laughs like it's the funniest thing he's ever heard. So what I'm telling you is there is a serial killer living amongst us. <laughs> And he works at the Orange Theory at the point. So watch out, just stay away from there. I've actually just tried to start avoiding him. I went to a different gym recently, too, because I was like, I feel guilty not working out, but I don't want to see him. So I went to a different gym, and I was running on the treadmill, and I was really doing well. I was kicking ass. I was in a zone. And suddenly I hear the woman next to me go, whoa, whoa. And I see her start, like, slipping. And so I reach over and I start trying to hit the stop button. And, but she, suddenly she goes, boom, she falls and shoots off the back. And everybody in the gym stopped and looked over. And I'm still trying to press the stop button. So it looked like I'm the one that was speeding up her treadmill. And I was way more worried about what people thought than her. So I was like, no, 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 no. I, I was trying to help. And they were like, just help her, you fucking idiot. So now they think I'm the serial killer at that gym. <laughs> yeah, it's going real well for me. It's going real well for me. I, uh, since I can't splurge on uh, birthday cake anymore, I decided to bling out recently, and I bought a pair of $6,000 speakers. I know, crazy, but surround sound, they kick ass, they're called hearing aids. <laughs> <laughs> yep, <laughs> getting to that age where the old hearing is going. But you guys, everybody should look into these, right? Because I can blast my music and my neighbors don't even know. Because my stereo is at one and these babies are at 10. <laughs> What am I gonna do, hurt my hearing? Too late, fuckers! <laughs> uh, there's a couple fun things about losing your hearing, though. One, whenever I start to feel old, I just go to the hearing aid store, and I'm the youngest person that has ever walked through those doors. All right, they think I'm Timothy Chalamet there, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh, the first time I walked in, the woman at the desk wouldn't help me. Like She just thought like I was some young riffraff who was there to loiter. 
<laughs> and I was like, well, why would you think, like, was I going to tell my friends, like, guys, I know the perfect place to hang out, all right? It's a miracle here. Listen, it's bottomless Keurig coffee, <laughs> and all the women are single, because they're widows, but they're single. Uh, the other fun thing about losing your hearing is uh, you mishear people. And that seems like it would be wrong, but it gives us humor about it. Like, for example, the other day, I uh, said to my wife, I was like, hey, I'm thinking about, I'm kind of hungry. I'm going to order some food. Do you want anything? And she goes, ugh, no, I feel like a big fat slug right now. <laughs> and I heard, ugh, I feel like a big fat slut right now. <laughs> And I was very confused. I didn't know if she was mad at me for something, or we were doing a new role-playing thing that I had just learned about. So I didn't say anything for a while. And then I started like getting excited like a couple hours later, and I was like, I'm gonna make my move now with this big fat slut. <laughs> She's like, oh, I already told you, I feel so gross in the slut. I'm like, oh, that's what you said. <laughs> makes more sense now. That really makes more sense now. Um, all right, I, I'm going to tell this last one, and then I'll get out of here. Uh, so, this is going to be dark at first, but just stick with me. It'll get funny again, I hope. Uh, so my wife, her uh, boyfriend before me was a manic depressive, and he committed suicide. And that part is true, and I'm not making a joke about that. Not making a joke about that. But... You would think that would set the bar a lot lower for me, right? <laughs> like, you know, just don't kill myself and I can do whatever I want, but no, she still expects me to not get too drunk at her birthday party. <laughs> not say things like, I know why your last boyfriend killed himself. They ain't that, was that never wins an argument. Uh, but here's the thing, what was weird about it is when we start arguing, if we have a bad fight or anything, I never think, oh God, I'm gonna kill her one day. I always think, oh, she's so lucky I don't kill myself. <laughs> because one boyfriend, that's unfortunate. Two in a row, people are gonna talk, right? There's gonna be an investigation, probably a lifetime series made about her, about the Black Widow. She doesn't realize I hold all the cards. 